Lexi here, and welcome to the Game of Thrones Season 7, Episode 2, Stormborn Recap. I'm so excited to welcome Corey Guerin of the San Francisco Giants. <laughs> and of course, you know, the moon of my life, Hunter. For me, this scene was so powerful because it's so rare that you find four strong women around a a war table, right? Talking war, talking strategy. What are they gonna do? What are the alliances? Like these four women are in charge. What did you think of Lady Elena and like her message to Khaleesi? Like, I think she says, you're not a sheep, you're a dragon. Be a dragon. What did, what did yeah. you think of that? I, Cause I'm not sure exactly what she's saying to her. I think a lot of times we do get sidetracked by other people's advice like what we should do and, and all this kind of counsel. Um, and I think it was a really powerful moment in the show where she says, you know, all these kind of plans are great and all, but you got here by being who you are, continue to be who you are. I but I do feel it. like Tyrion's advice is always pretty good. Yeah. That's where I'm like, but Tyrion wasn't giving her any bad advice. Why are you saying this? You know, I thought that was brilliant. Tyrion's plan about taking over Casterly Rock mm -hmm. and kind of shutting off the funds is, I mean, that's sort of brilliant, right? Yeah, and Without absolutely. that, she kind of has nothing. Popeye tells Arya, hey, your brother's the king of the north now. And she's like, wait, what? Right? That was a cool scene. Okay, she thought everyone was dead, right? Yeah. So that was like a stand up and applaud scene when the crossroads go to King's Landing, head back home. The opportunity for her to be back with like Snow and, and Sansa, that was like a game changing moment for me. She doesn't know that Sansa's still alive, does she? I think no. she does, or not. I don't know, still not? She knows that Jon Snow's there, right? But I don't know if she knows that. Oh, okay. Sansa. Well, still, she's headed home. There's so many. Like foreshadowing things in these episodes there to is. start this season. Yeah. There's a lot of setup. I feel yeah. like from watching Game of Thrones this long, you have to pay attention to everything they put the camera yeah. on. Yeah. And like, there's no small characters. I have to hope that later on in this season, though, Nymeria shows up and they just wreck shot. Like, Nymeria I would be, be so back. disappointed if I, they don't. I feel like 100%. You don't show Nymeria there and she doesn't. Yeah. You know? She's yeah. going to do some damage. Somehow. It's like Nymeria's going to be around just in a different way. On to the Greyjoy battle where Euron takes. Yara's ships, the Ironborn ships, and that was a crazy battle. You knew, right? Yeah, you it was, right it was bad. You, you knew right away. I did wish that they'd have shown more of like the large scale battle. It was all kind of like close quarter. It kind of happened fast and it was crazy. Oh my god, that massive dark. ladder just falling down. I was like, this is nuts! It was intense, but I, I loved like the huge large scale shots of like the entire fleet. And there were like thousands, hundreds of ships. And you really only saw what's happening kind of right around that one fight. Um, but that was so I would have liked to see more of it, but this, the whole scene in general was just epic. Theon's there and he can make a choice whether to save Yara or peace out. What did you guys think of his decision? Yeah, super disappointing for me. It's, he's one of those guys, ever since all the stuff with Ramsey Bolton, I've wanted him to like, come on, come through, like finally take your place back to what it should be. But I have to hope that they let him come through at some point, that he has like a big role to play. The last two seasons have just been finally, you get some satisfaction, some excitement versus, you know, emotional pain, emotional pain, emotional pain. So yeah. I'm really enjoying it. All right, well, there you have it, your Game of Thrones recap. Thank you guys for watching. Big thank you, Corey, for being here. And if you guys like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Also, for the long form of this video, go ahead and check out Let's Get Lexi's channel at youtube.com forward slash Let's Get Lexi.